Hello viewers, in today's video I will show you how you can root Huawei Mate 10 which is running EMUI 8 which is based on Android 8. Like uh, all other phones we need to enable OEM unlock uh, in developer options and uh, to enable developer options we need to tap 7 times on build number. Once developer options are enabled, we need to go in developer options and uh, there we need to enable OEM unlock. Here you can see the OEM unlock option is grayed out. So we need to connect to Wi-Fi and then we need to add a Google account. Only then we will be able to switch OEM unlock option. I have just added my account and uh, now I can see that uh, OEM unlock option is enabled. We need to switch it on and uh, then we will also switch the USB debugging on. Once you have done these two steps, then we need to move to our computer where we need to enter command to uh, switch our phone to fast boot mode. Here we need uh, to type the command fast boot uh, sorry adb space devices to check the connectivity of our phone and uh, then we will type uh, adb reboot bootloader adb space reboot space uh, adb space reboot dash bootloader and uh, you will see the phone should automatically reboot to fast boot mode press enter and the phone should enter fast boot mode and here we will see we can see that uh, FRP will be showing unlock and phone sh should be showing locked now we need to unlock the bootloader of this phone viewers bootloader unlock code is very expensive if you don't have your code already with you then you have to buy this code and uh, it is not easy to get this code now because Huawei has stopped uh, providing these codes okay I will enter my code fastboot OEM unlock space and then we need to paste that code and press enter on our full screen we will see a warning that if, if you are sure you want to unlock select yes by using volume up button and press power button now the phone should perform a factory reset so make sure you back up all your important data from phone before proceeding with the route phone just booted up now we need to go through the configurations we can skip most of the steps so we don't need to uh, enter our google account we don't need to set up uh, uh, screen lock we don't need to set up fingerprints you can skip almost uh, 90 percent of the configurations the google uh, terms and conditions and agreements you have to uh, uh, select ag agree for those just skip everything and uh, reach home screen and now again we need to enable USB debugging and uh, for that we need to enable developer options again and then in developer options we need to uh, enable USB debugging Viewers, USB debugging will only work if you select uh, USB mode to files transfer mode. Otherwise, USB debugging will not work. So, now we will be able to switch it on and uh, allow the USB debugging. 
Now we need to again enter command adb space reboot dash bootloader and press enter. Phone again will enter fast boot mode and now we will be able to see FRB is unlocked and phone is also unlocked because we have previously unlocked the bootloader. And uh, now we are going to proceed with the root process. We was uh, to install the root you need to uh, copy those uh, files to C drive and then you need to open magisk dot bat file and uh, some f uh, files will be flashed and uh, after the first phase of flashing you need to disconnect your phone from PC you will also see instructions on the CMD screen you need to disconnect your phone from PC and then hold volume up and power keys simultaneously you need to keep holding these two keys until your phone enters EM EMUI recovery screen as you can see I am holding both buttons volume up and power buttons you need to keep them holding even after that black screen just keep holding until you see EMUI recovery screen EMUI recovery screen appeared. We don't need to select anything here. We just need to connect our phone with PC and then press enter uh, on uh, CMD screen and then again press enter. Now uh, the this uh, process now this process will uh, start uh, flashing uh, magisk. Just wait until uh, installation screen appears on your phone as you can see on my phone it it uh, has started uh, the installation once this is in installation completes you can reboot your uh, phone or it will automatically reboot to normal mode Now we have uh, completed 90% uh, of uh, the work which is required for root. Magisk has been installed. Now next step will be installing the Magisk manager. We was, uh, you should only install the version of Magisk which I have provided for this phone which is 5.6.1. Only this version you can install uh, of the Magisk manager. Just install the Magisk Manager and open it and uh, you can see it is showing which version is installed. Now next step will be to fix the, U, uh, the, the to fix uh, Wi-Fi of our phone because uh, now Wi-Fi will not work. For this we need to flash uh, Wi-Fi fix module. Viewers, I have already provided uh, two modules uh, with these uh, routing files. You need to flash these two modules uh, in uh, Magisk Manager. I will show you how you can do that. You need to open Magisk Manager. Make sure you have copied uh, both uh, modules on uh, your uh, phone storage. Next step is open Magisk Manager from Magisk Menu. We need to tap on modules option then tap on plus button and then allow access to your storage and uh, from here in files uh, we need to select uh, our uh, modules we need to flash both of these uh, zip files in uh, magisk manager one is uh, huawei property fix and uh, the second one is uh, huawei wi-fi fix now I will flash the second file which is uh, Wi-Fi fix and once installation completes you need to tap on reboot and uh, your phone should uh, reboot. Thank you. 
phone has just booted up now we will check if uh, Wi-Fi is working we will uh, go in settings and uh, check uh, try to connect to Wi-Fi yes the Wi-Fi is switched on and it is connected we will see the magist manager it is asking for uh, update we was uh, it is suggested you should not uh, update your uh, magisk manager now next step uh, should be to check the root access to verify the root access for this we need to uh, install root checker on our phone i have already copied uh, apk file on my sd card i will uh, just uh, install that root checker now press on verify root uh, and grant root access and uh, see it is saying device is properly rooted thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future